All right, so this is our sports GHU. I want to really welcome on board and kindly subscribe and hit the notification button many time. Uh, you have videos of us anytime you post. Now, there's this interesting story I would want to um, highlight because it, it sounds very, very interesting. It's about a uh, midfielder who recently played for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. He recently joined Sheriff. And um, he recently, in fact, played against Manchester United. And he played against Casemiro and Ronaldo. Now, this boy used to loiter around uh, Ija, small place in Kumasi, in Ghana. He used to struggle. And um, God knows how life is. This boy has moved from grass to Greece. He's been able to translate from playing in Ghana, playing at the Barbaira Sports Stadium, living around Asia, to living his dream of playing against the big boys. In this case, playing against Casimero, Ronaldo, and all the stars at Manchester United. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mudasiru. Salifu's story. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Kindly subscribe, hit the notification button so that videos you have the chance to also watch it. Now, let me quickly run through you this. You see, this boy uh, schooled at Kumasi High School. Kumasi High School. It's uh, one of those high schools in Ghana. Now, after high school, after his high school, he decided to pursue his footballing career. So he played some few clubs. He moved to Brekum Chelsea. Brekum Chelsea is one of those Premier League clubs in Ghana. So he, he I mean, he was doing okay. After Brekum Chelsea, um, he got a deal to move from Ghana to Tunisia to play for CS Fasien. I mean, those days he was an unknown. He was a young guy. Uh, people did not give him that attention. So... He had some few months at CS Fasien and he decided to come back to Ghana. And um, he came back to Brekum Chelsea, um, had some issues. And before former Asante Kotoko coach Maxwell Konedu saw the, the talent in this guy and decided to give him chance. I mean, uh, those days I remember the media backlash because people felt that um he he did not deserve it uh, maxwell kept insisting that uh, his his this boy will grow and live up to his expectation i mean maxwell had so much hope in buddha series salifu so he decided to turn a bell i mean he did not my people people were castigating people were just i mean it was too much i remember those days that maxwell decided to call someone who does not play football i mean those days um maxwell was trying to get him to the asante kotoko team i mean he, he had recently joined asante kotoko i mean he was just doing um justify what we normally call and maxwell decided to give him chance in the local black stars and now it's currently called the black galaxies so i mean the backlash was too much someone i mean who is just doing justify in kotoko um, you just you give him chance to play for the national i mean it was it was it was it was it was tough for maxwell fast forward um, he gave him the chance kumasa santi kotoko signed him and he showed what what he can do i mean his left foot was lethal i mean he he dribbles he's a hard tackler he closes down spaces i mean he was he reminded a lot of people about the young Sule Muntari. I mean, so the, he, he, I mean, just three months into his Kotoko's career, he was the talk of town because he stole the show um, when Kotoko played against Accra, had to folk in Accra. I mean, people talked about him. <laughs> Mudashi controlled the game until he got injured. I mean, he was, he was excellent. He was excellent that day. So, and right after that, people started giving him attention. Uh, Muda, at uh, that period, he used to stay at Eija when he joined Asante Kotoko. I mean, he wasn't a big guy. He wasn't a big guy. Kotoko, those signings Kotoko did, I mean, um, he was the least among them in terms of names. So, 
he used to stay around that place. Um, economically, he cannot compare that place to other places, though. But, I mean, uh, it was good for a startup player. So, I mean, he, there are times he had issues with, there were, there were issues he had with um, Jetsil Zakaria. I mean, that one was also uh, a whole lot of events. Uh, Buddha Syria has done that and that, that. I don't want to go in. I don't want to delve into that issue because, um, I mean, it was bad. It was bad. But Zakaria, the coach of Asante Kotoko, Jetsil, he was sacked. And um, the next coach came, Kotoko had a series of coaches, but I mean, one thing was constant. Mudasiri always starting games for Asante Kotoko, and he did very, very well throughout his, those years. In fact, he signed three years for Asante Kotoko. So right after, in fact, his contract was almost done until Kotoko um, decided to extend and later loan him to uh, Sharif in Moldova. So fast forward in July 2022, Mudasir signed a contract for Sheriff Moldova. So I mean, from um, struggling at the early stages of life, if I say struggling, I mean that. I don't want to delve into, I mean, those events because it was tough. He was extremely tough. I was close. So I know what I'm saying. It was, it was very, very tough from Kumasi High School to living in Brekum, struggling in life. People had to help him um, to even get food to eat at some, part, um, at some situations. And when he went to Tunisia, the kind of expectations he had, he did not meet that. He had to come back to Ghana, um, join Asante Kotoko, even though the... His expectations weren't meant in terms of salary and stuff like that. But it's understandable because, I mean, he did not have the clout to back in that much. So, um, he, he moved from all these situations and he jumped to Moldova. An interesting sheriff um, had qualified to play in the Europa Cup. You remember a few years ago, sheriff used to play in the... Uh, Champions League, there were times this the surprised Real Madrid. I mean, got some point in time, Sheriff, people discussed Sheriff so much. So, first forward, I mean, um, when he joined Sheriff in July 2022, um, we were skeptical. People, what? Well, so, Sheriff, okay, maybe let's give him time. Let's give him time. But it is interesting. July, I guess, September. And he is playing against Manchester United in the Europa Cup. That is that's that's is, that is when we, in fact that describes elevation. In fact, he did not start that game. He came in on the eighty-first minute, um, so he had nine minutes plus the additional time the referee added, and he was in the same page at that time. <laughs> I mean, that's that is interesting. It's 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 interesting because, I mean, he was at least he had the opportunity to play along, um, play against Ericsson, play against Bruno Fernandes, Jadon Sancho, uh, Varane, uh, Malaysia, David De Gea. I mean, these are names: Ronaldo. Um, I mean, Cas Cas. I mean, come on, Casimero. I mean, host of other players. That that's elevation. And he took the advantage to take pictures with these guys. So, the story is, is, is interesting. Because a few months ago, this boy was struggling around uh, Kumasi. And um, just after three months, just after three months, the same player is playing against Ronaldo, Casimero, Ericsson, Jaden Sancho, and the likes. This is life. This is how life is. And um, take this opportunity to also... I mean, this, this, this can motivate a lot of players um, around town, in Africa, in Europe, in wherever you are watching this video from. I mean, someone who... I'm not sure if, if someone had 
predicted that he was going to be playing alongside this place in a few months, he would have doubted it because, I mean, his situation wasn't that good. But, I mean, this is, this is how it is. After signing for Sharif in, 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 in July, and he's been, he's been st at least most of the games that they've played, mostly he comes from the bench like he did against Manchester United. But, I mean, coming, this, this is huge. This is huge. So, from the Babaira Sports Stadium, where Kumasi Asante Kotoko plays, in the Ghana Premier League, in the CAF Champions League, in the CAF Confederations Cup, to European Europa Cup. That is huge. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. We'll give you another story in subsequent videos. Uh, adios. Bye-bye.